Okay, we're back with some e-tron today. If I actually had Tron here, I would keep this hand. Since I don't, I can easily mulligan. <clears throat> on the draw. I'm going to keep this hand on the draw. It's a little bit aggressive, but... There's some starts, but this is very good. Some burning catacombs this hand is not very good against, sadly. This is not one of the decks. This is not a matchup where the sand is keepable. But there are a lot that the sand I think is very close to keepable, if not just the correct keep. We kind of have to play with it and hope. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do this for one. Just make any future discard spells not work. If he has to like use Assassin's Trophy, I'm fine with that as well. We get a land at least. He's abrupt kids. Oh, they are playing Grixis. Okay, that is good to know. Wait, Burned Catacombs, Bloodstained Mire? Wait, what the fuck are they playing? Maybe this is four color shadow? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Ditch Ugin here. Another. Oh, Jawsy Temple off the top is really good for us. That is fine. This is something to at least invest our mana into. Now any land drop off the top is good. <laughs> also makes the Liliana minus significantly worse for them. We're going to discard Dismember here. Pretty easily. Possible this child someone is like really doing them dirty, but who knows? Who really knows? <laughs> what is this? Oko. Okay. That's a bit of a problem. Land me dealer. There we go. I think I'm just gonna clean deal with Oko here. Because Liliana minus can't realistically get me. And we should be able to deal with Liliana the next turn unless they have exactly like Tarmogoyf. Even then we can kind of deal with it in a way. Because of Scavenger Grounds, so I like the situation we're in right now. And they can't have a one drop to punish with the attack with like the hanger backwalker here because of Chalice of the Void. It only punishes Dismember, but it dismembers the hanger backwalker. We still gotta deal with Oko next turn more than likely, so I would say that attack is more than acceptable. But I have no real idea what my opponent is actually doing. Doesn't quite make sense to me. Does not quite make sense to me. Shit. <laughs> Okay, what else you got opponent? And we're just conceding? Okay. I don't quite understand what's going on. We got a Sky Sovereign in our sideboard? Sweet, I don't even know. Okay, let's see, what do we want here? I feel like Relic could be good here, but I just don't know. Can you turn up the music? Uh, yeah, just one second. Is it really that low? Okay. Let's look at the music. I need to turn down my volume on my headset. That's the problem. Now it should be there. Hmm. What do I want here? Hmm. My opponent apparently sent me top three at our lands, eh? And he was not happy about that. I think I'm just gonna run this back, maybe. I just want to, like, have top decks to cards like Wormcoil Engine, Sky Sovereign, maybe. And then we can just, like, use Karn to go get Pithing Needle against their, um, Planeswalkers. And if we need to go get something big, 
don't really have that option except for walking ballistas, so I guess we could just go get that. Question I've been wondering about, what do you think about Oko and Scales? To make the mana work. Um, it's a potential option, but I'm just not sure about the mana. We're on the draw. I think we got a mulligan this hand still. This hand is fine. It's not great. I'm going to ditch Ugin here. All this stuff seems really good in this matchup. We're just playing against like some random shit. I could see Oko being fine. I've never tried any like splash colors. I'm always scared to do something like that. Pass the turn. If we draw, mm, we actually should have let on Cavern of Souls there. Actually, no, because it doesn't, like, only Ceremonious Rejection is the card that I'm kind of scared of. I'm playing an Rot Raptor in the side to wish to trade with Thalia. I don't even know what Anvil Rot Raptor does, to be completely honest. Dish the Thoughtseize. So lucky. If that's a new card, I have no idea what the hell that is. Who knows what new cards are? <laughs> okay, breeding pool tapped, sure, that's fine. I'll draw the temple. So close. I want them to leave up mana for a counter spell if they do have it here. So I'll do this to go tick this up to two. Kind of scared of like K command, but he obviously didn't have it because he played Breeding Pool tapped. I don't know what the fuck my opponent's hand is. What do they have? We're going to have 2-1 Flyer with first strike. Oh, okay. I think about it, the more things I realize I can do for the deck. Be curious exploring if the mana is possible. Yeah, also like making the mana base makes you lose a lot of like utility lands. And like makes you have to leave in Mox Opals in certain matchups as well. I'm kind of interested in just Blast Zoning to 2 and just sh killing his things here. Seems really good to me. I'm actually like just going to do that. I think that's the best line of play here. What is this? Is this Assassin's Trophy? Okay. That's acceptable. Huh. So he gets to flip. He could have flipped this last turn if he really wanted to. I think I'm just supposed to smash here, or not that. I think I just want to smash, there's not much with Karn the Great Creator that I can do right now. <laughs> they minus on trophy. Okay, that's fine. Heart of Kirin? What a madman. But now we get to all this dust then. Not this turn, I think we'll do it next turn.
I think I'm just gonna play Karn minus and then go for all's dust. Okay, that's very good that they destroke that and not the all's dust, so I'm a fan. I did have the destroke, yeah. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm What does my opponent have in their hand? I think I just have to do this, and then if this doesn't resolve, then we can at least scavenger grounds next turn. Oh, I had second D stroke, that's crazy. God damn. Oh, wow. Wow, he's playing Snapcaster Mage in his deck? Okay, well, I guess that's pretty punishing. Well, I just started like 10 minutes ago, final enough, so you know, you know how it is. Did not play around Snapcaster Mages, it didn't make any sense in their deck, really with the chase, but you know, I guess sometimes good. The adjusted scales list, I will do that after this. I think we're one mana short here, so we can't map plus um, Snaring Bridge here. Yep, one mana short, feels bad man. Farm provide my idle viewing. Heck, one needed. <laughs> it's fair. Yeah, didn't. Did not expect Snapcaster Mage there. Snapcaster Mage was the perfect thing to punish me. Maybe I was just supposed to go for. <gasps> cracking the Scavenger Ground? Hmm. It's kind of close. So now that I know they have. Both Jace and Tarmogoy. I'm kind of interested in these relics. I'm not very interested in these Walking Ballistas. Still kind of interested in the Chalice of Voids. Maybe I'm not supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so we blink Inquisition. I think I'm kind of interested in this hand. It's slow, but like their hands are also very slow and blank some of their discard spells. So I don't know. A lower win rate versus Etron than with Splua with Neoform. Etron's obviously the best deck. It's also possible that a lot better players are playing Etron than the other. How is the gym? I did not actually end up going to the gym, sadly, because my uh, the people I was going with ended up having things to do and I can't get to the gym by myself because they are, they both of them have cars but that's kind of my fault I ended up going to watch them get a hair, haircut and then I just like got myself food kind of fucked around a little bit playing some Guitar Hero and then came back mm -hmm. also despise each one that's fair Yep. Also played perfectly around the Inquisition that I called out. Mm-hmm. Okay, sure, that's fine. The only thing we really get punched for by not doing this... Mm -mm. I'm gonna wait on this map and get punished. I'm just waiting. Okay. Did not get punished, thank good. Here's his power plant. I got like exactly rewarded too. Well, not exactly rewarded. Because if we would have gone for a Tron land, then we could have had the Tron land here. But, you know, we didn't get super punished. Playing it, and how my nut draws of two, three twos, and lost my draws are for good. Eight colors, yeah, they're just on four color snow. Of course. Of course, they're playing Blood Moon, because why not, right, guys? <laughs> Let's play this for one and then pass the turn. 
Ash Slave sucks for the format. Oko sucks. Yeah. I'm not a fan of Planeswalkers, basically, in Eternal formats. They're always, like, incredibly hard to deal with. JCP, <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'll just go get a waste, even though it's kind of bad when we get to Ugin this. But we kind of have to get ways here, regardless. <sighs> um, hmm. I want to know what's in their hand. I want to get the Stainful Stroke slash Assassin's Trophy out of their hand if they have it. care about Heart of Kirin. I feel like I'm going to care about this Snapcaster Mage down the line, whereas the Heart of Kirin is going to be largely irrelevant, so I'm fine with that. They get to discard their Thoughtseize to the Jace. <laughs> Plague Engineer, okay. Sure. gonna get greedy here yeah I'm gonna get greedy here by the next song the blood moon here they crew it yeah here we go we found it back there playing hard of Kieran, though is insane to me we got thought not here under there okay Why main phase that? What's the reason to do that? Let's do this. Tech chase, tech chase, tech them. Yeah, getting greedy with my Ugin worked out very, very well for us. <laughs> Red jumpsuit apparatus plan, eight color snow shit. Yeah, I saw Mateus F got a list posted, so I was really interested in playing it, even though it's just like basically the same shit. But you know, I want to get my sixth trophy. And we'll see if Mateus is truly still onto something. How many people are still at five trophies? Good chunk. I'm now not on like the top. Uh, the first page, I need to get at least like one more trophy, and then we're up here with the six, six balls, seven balls with Y Prince. We've beaten him a couple times. Demian, I know, is a good good player. Stimulus Shots, and I've never really seen the Game Room Pro, Sick World, but a lot of these other people I've seen a lot of, like Doom Switch, Knockwheel 10, Selfie Sec, Cracho Del Mal, QB Turtle. The regs, the regs. <laughs> or against Hemsley? This hand is so close to being good, but not Tron. This hand is Tron. We're gonna ditch the scavenger grounds here, I believe. And get punished from there on like dredge or something. Scales today, 5 0. Hopefully, we can pick up another Scales 5 0. Right now, we're on. Our trophies are two Scales 5-0, two Emery Ascendancy 5-0s, and one Ginger Brute Affinity 5-0, of all things. I think it's Noble Hierarchs, maybe Infect. Okay, um, just gonna jam this now that we just ripped, you know, Tron off the top. 
that like made our hands so much better because now we can do something like actually important with this exhibition map and we can just like go nuts with Karn and all this dust it's like perfect we gotta learn what they're on this makes me think infect a lot I'm gonna board like they're infected if they just concede that's definitely what's gonna happen for me hmm <laughs> oh, final note, I just saw your, uh, your tweet. That's pretty funny. Aha, opponent, you're dead. Isn't this fun? For you, how does it work? Um, make sure you click to cast the card first. Rather than tapping the mana. You need to click the card first. That's how the priority will work in your favor. Alright, have a good time, right up. Well, I was too used to Confluence, yep, that's fair, that's fair. So we're against Infects, so we definitely want these. Want this in the main deck. I think we want the Needle in the main deck. Get rid of Ugin the Ineffable. Your back walker is pretty bad. Hmm, what else? Argument to Endbringer is an interesting card. Because if it stays alive, it just wins the game by itself. The confluence cast life. Because on, you know, I guess that's fair. Um Do I care more about Endbringer or Reality Smasher? Like, oh, it's such a tough decision actually here. It's possible we just don't want Pithing Needle in our main deck? Is it something to go get with Karn? I guess we could just leave Pithing Needle on the sideboard actually. Hmm. I guess we have Search of Spyglass in the board. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I guess we could bring in... Hmm. It's rough, because Pithy Needle doesn't do anything. We have Chalice on one, too. Ah, this is rough. This is really rough. Very interesting sideboarding decision here. Also makes it so five mana can card Needle. Hmm. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go like this and not bring in the Needle, even though that may be very incorrect. I'm gonna keep this hand. Top decks really well into an Urza's mine. Has two pieces of interaction. I'll draw the temple's also pretty nuts so. Waste is not exactly what I wanted to see, but a land is better than nothing. We got Karn plus Endbringer. I think Karn is too good in this matchup. Noble Hierarch, that's no fun. Double Noble Hierarch, that's definitely no fun. Oh, okay, that's pretty good, I would say. Would've been good to have before he got to double with Hierarch, but you know. <laughs> My opponent said, can you chill, please? Urza's mine. Eh, close enough. <laughs> this guy used to be on a lot of scales. I said you betrayed scales and this is what it gets you. That's not going too man too bad, the man, the myth legend. I was very tempted to not... Sh well, so I should have streamed in the morning. But, like, something made me want to stream at night. I'm not exactly sure what... I mean, I still want to try trying... I still want to continue to try streaming at night, like see how it goes, even though there's like infinite. Even though it's like, um, it's really competitive. 
it's like really rough. The time slots have gotten like much worse for me. Even even though my regular time slot is fine, it's like I have to. The time slot where it's good for me to stream in the morning has gotten shortened and like very constrained, basically purely because of uh, aspiring spikes, um, like increase in popularity. Which is good for him, definitely, but it is worse for me, overall. I do like his stream, but his stream does have, like, at least from what I've noticed so far, it has really ebbs and flows of popularity. Yeah, obviously not a man of my word. Oh, we're going against this? <laughs> Who do you think I am, opponent? Who do you think I am? But, um... Yes, I lied, Brett K. <laughs> I lied about the early morning stream. But, what was I going to say? I'm just not going to play anything here to play around uh, Ghost Quarter. But, what was I going to say? Yeah, he has his stream. This is nothing to bag on him or anything, but he's very much like a, a brewer. And when his brews are successful, like they were, I wouldn't necessarily call Jund a brew deck that he was playing before, but um, it was very successful for him in getting him some viewership. And when he stopped playing Jund, his viewership declined. This isn't necessarily a bad thing for him. But it's just what I noticed. Like, he was hitting, like, 100, 150, like, right at the beginning, because he was on the cutting edge of, uh... Jund, when it, like, first was getting popular. Like, when Ren and Six came out. Name means girl. Haha, <laughs> got him. God, you're sounding like dank memes right now. But, so it made it so his, his stream wasn't as successful when he wasn't playing those. And, um... He... Has now seen a new resurgence of viewership. Wow, this is incredibly aggressive. Seems like a bad attack from my opponent. Just thought not to sear them. Yep, okay, they've conceded. But so now that he's brewed up another new deck, and it's both very good at it, and has, like, shown that he's very good, and shown that it's very competitive and getting many trophies, his viewership's going up again. Because new archetype, people want to see what it's all about. It's kind of, um, like what happened with, uh, Susurus MTG. Let's see how we want to sideboard here. Let's put this back in Chicago. Let's figure out where it's sideboarding, I'll continue my, um, thought. Evan Neild guy answers the question. I don't understand Neild guy? Or Evan... Oh, like Evan Mogert? Okay. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Keeled? Hmm. Yeah, I don't... That's not his name, is it? I thought it was Evan Mogart or something like that. Maybe it's Neild. I don't know. Um, how do I want to sideboard here? Need to go back to school. Oh, even Neeld guy. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't even... Okay, maybe I'm an idiot based on what you're trying to say. Huh, how do I want a sideboard here? I definitely want the spatial contortions, I think. Don't think I want the warping whales. Kind of want the sky sovereign. I mean, like, this is probably fine. Side out my power plants? I don't know about that. But so, where was I? So, yeah, so he was... Okay, so I was with Ciceros. So yeah, Ciceros, when he was... Sand is very close to being good. But when Ciceros was... Oof. Um, sure. I'll ditch this. I don't have to ditch that, yeah. When he was playing the War Prison deck... And it was very... Oh, we didn't set out our Chalice of the Voids. Oh, no. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad of us. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get too punished by that. 
But when you're streaming the, um, why all's dust? Why get rid of all's dust? I have to kill this because of the ghost quarter. Oof. I knew I was going to draw that. I wouldn't have dismembered, but we can't do that. But yeah, so he was streaming, like, the Word Prison deck, and he got, like, incredibly popular up to, like, two, three hundred viewers, doing very well for himself. And then, um, when that deck wasn't as popular, he ended up not doing it as well for himself. He's still doing pretty well, getting up to, like, a hundred, maybe a hundred fifty viewers sometimes, but not nearly as well as he was doing before. So, like, if you're playing the, the in-meta deck that people want to see a lot of, then you will continually do better than other people, usually streaming... Unless you're, like, one of the big boys, basically, like, Gabe Nassif, you know, Caleb Durward, and all those other guys. Like, um, so, like, a uh, oof, that's not exactly what I wanted to see. I think I'm gonna block here, try and hit a land. So, yeah, so, but him getting a lot better viewership... Talking about meta streaming while playing Tron 500. <laughs> I mean, I don't really care about what I do because I know how I am successful, and it doesn't necessarily involve streaming at these times. But I'm just like streaming because it's helpful to me, or because I need I want to stream every single day. Ugh, that's not what I wanted to see. Kills the unknown, right? Why don't side it out? I probably should have sided it out, but it kills Dahlia. I guess it doesn't kill Jaws. Just plays or does it? So, yeah, probably should have sided out. Streaming to spite the viewers, you yeah. know. No, but I definitely sideboard wrong because I also have my Chalice of the Voids in my deck, which is bad. Hmm. I'm gonna do this to play around Dismember and uh, taking a Reality Smasher if they have it in their hand. So they do have the Dismember. Ooh, yeah, they do have Dismember. Do you have Reality Smasher? They have another Dismember. We can't beat Reality Smasher. So we have to take that. I don't know what the hell I can draw. I guess it has to be Mattery Shaper? My core stream. <laughs> but yeah, so back to what I was saying. Um there's the first step. And then the Dismember has to hit something good for me. Like another Mattery Shaper, I guess? Well, that's how we win this game. Unlikely, but possible. Okay, now we're dead. So, yeah. So, um, Aspiring Spike doing better is bad for my stream because it makes it so uh, the times that I can stream are constrained where I can be the only person streaming modern that has a good chunk of viewers okay let's set out these bad boys bring back in warping whales walk bliss is not the worst this is fine as well I think we can bring this in and just have ensnaring bridge is what we're trying to go for. You get a hundred viewers every stream. That's what five hundred dollars a year. No, that's not true. As I'm already up to like two hundred dollars just um, since like September twenty seconds from streaming. Top energy streamer. This point, I don't know, Benny. That's not gonna happen. But yeah, so it's not anything against him personally or even his stream. It's just um, the fact that when other people do better, or when other people have, like, every single person is directly competing for viewership when streaming with other people that are also streaming. Um, I don't think I can keep this hand. Doesn't quite do enough. Um. Fuck. I'm gonna keep this hand and not be excited about it. 
So it's like with streaming, like every single person that that also streams is directly competing with you, especially if they're streaming at the same time. And it makes it so like shit's just rough. Like if you are not doing better than other people, who are we talking about? Um, I'm t kind of talking talking in an abstract right now. Talking in an abstract of um, like streaming of how it works and why other if other streamers do better than I am in a in the time slot that I'm trying to stream, that is unfortunate. Then it makes it so I do worse in the end, which is unfortunate, but it's how streaming works. Draws a displacer, okay, I will kill this. I think I'm just gonna make a 1-1 one -one here to help out with mana. Could be important down the line. Especially with Tech Edge. Hushbringer. Okay, let's take Thought Not Seer. Wants everyone else to fail because he's greedy? No, it's like... With Twitch, you based, like... Other people's success is, like, actively bad for you. Which is really shitty. But it's, like, the way it works, sadly. So he has we played some big king in this. Okay. I know this doesn't work, but I'm gonna play it out regardless. Because I just want to have more pressure on the board. If you want more viewers for your stream, why not just co-stream with the oh my lord. Mana traders, you're killing me here. Married with LSV. Well, that's one way you could do it. <laughs> They've got Thought Not Seer too. Okay, I think I'm favored by trading Thought Not Seers. Tag with the Hushbringer. Um, yeah, I think that's bad for them. I think I'm favored by just attacking out, like with these. I'm gonna trade off, they go down to four. Creatures are entering the battlefield or die. Oh, that's actually really big. I do not want him to draw creatures or draw cards off the Thought Not Spheres. Okay, that's really good for me. Hmm. Three no. It's not a bad start. Not a bad start for the deck. But yeah, like, it's kind of weird how, like, the theory of streaming works. Like, how it's, like,. How other people doing worse is like actively good for you. And it's like kind of fucked up. Because that's not the case in many other medias. Fire Cat Rider, thank you for the fall, I appreciate it. But maybe I'm just like completely incorrect about my assumptions about how things work. <laughs> but that's my. My assumption is that it is, and based on what I've seen to an extent, a counter cube, but I punted two nights in a row. <laughs> uh, I would have hit you with the chalice on zero, chalice on one. Actually, I don't know if chalice on one even does anything against you. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it's kind of fucked up how you like, oh. Oro Thames House with the YouTube sub. Thank you. I appreciate it. This hand is wholly unplayable. Give my opponent the GLGL. No, this remix is a good one. Yes. Most of the remixes that they do are pretty damn good, I think. Let's keep... Get rid of Ghost Quarter. Yeah, get rid of Ghost Quarter. So... Pluto Delta, okay. French ban though. <laughs> they get punished by getting rid of it if they especially if they like stubborn now this. I wonder what they're on. <laughs> no, okay, they are on Grix's Shadow, but should be a good match for us, I think. 
What's GLF? Genuine sportsman die of bringing you or Luna 2 because about to kill you on turn 1. <laughs> uh, work is never over. We're only 8. 8 followers away, I believe, from 2k followers, which is pretty hype. I was trying to get to 2,500 by the end of the month. I just got another YouTube sub, it told me. I get this in while I can. We've got Eiffel 65 Blue. That's not bad. Julio Ferreria. Thank you for the sub. The YouTube sub. I'm at like over 300 YouTube subs too. It's like pretty crazy. I've gotten like... I think I've gotten over 100 subs in like the last... And since I started like... Uh, YouTubing again. I'm just like jamming out content. Because I just get to jam everything that I have from this stream. Hmm. I'm gonna go get Eldrazi Temple here. To make my mana a bit better over the coming turns. Well, main deck works. Uh, we're trying it out today. So far, we're 3 0. Hmm. <laughs> Opponent has opt and streamers in their deck. That's interesting. One top, one bottom, okay. Guess we're losing Ugin the Ineffable, I would have to guess. It's possible we're losing Warping Whale because he just has, like, he's sitting on multiple stubborn denials. <laughs> but maybe he just doesn't care. It's definitely a possibility. And so I don't want to play Neoform. I'm thinking. <laughs> I think I have to block here and try to find some goods. It's not the worst. Don't thought seize me, please. Okay, we may have to go for a dismember, depending on what they have. Mm -hmm. I can't tweet that, else I'm going to lose my Twitter ship. Only post good results? Oh, of course. That's the way to do it. <laughs> I mean, I have to go for this and then go for the dismember. I'm losing, they have stubborn denial here, guaranteed. Only post drama on Twitter. Oh, yeah. That's one way to do it. <laughs> if you do Twitter, you'd think people's win rates are 85%. I should have. Uh, maybe I'm just supposed to block this. Since this member fails, then I'm still, like, good. It doesn't really change much. I guess we could just Warping Whale. A bunch. I just don't see us getting out of it. Yeah, we weren't really getting out of it, unless... We could save until we hit the Blast Zone, kind of. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Whale's pretty bad here. Relic Progenitus I'm much more of a fan of. <laughs> so I think I'll just make that change. I don't really see anything else I want to be changing here. <laughs> well, for some reason people... I mean, I guess people don't really gain much from saying like... And also people don't just want to like post shit tons of videos all the time, right? I'm going to do it. Like, I know I don't post most of my losses. I should have posted stuff in about the Grixis Death Shadow League that I almost 0 5 That would have been great. No. <laughs> this hand is not going to cut it, even though I really want to keep it. This hand looks a lot better. Ditch the Ursa's Mine. 
depending on what they do on turn one. If they discard spell me, they're probably taking Chalice of the Void. Want the real YouTube views start making Minecraft song parodies? Ugh. That's a yikers. That's a yikers. Mm-hmm. Okay, I assume Chalice of Void is being taken. Yep, that was pretty damn quick. <laughs> Guess we're getting Tron, not getting like Blast Zone. <laughs> This is a tower. My opponent's stuck on one land. That's good for me, I guess. That's one way to win this game. I'm going to jam this card on the Great Creator. I don't see them dealing with it unless they have exactly Ceremonious Rejection. But you know, if you got it, you got it. Ooh, they did have it. That's one way to get me. And card order sucks. Card order is great. I've been fully impressed with their service every single time I've used it so far. <laughs> oh, they finally found the land. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Let's play that. <laughs> play this, and I think I'm just going to pop the scavenger grounds right now. Make it so they're like snapcasters and um, actually, you know, I don't really want to crack the mind stone just yet. Just remember. What do we find here? Let's put that one on the battlefield. I like to put that one on the battlefield. Let's go get blast zone. <laughs> you make more money than they do? I mean, you don't know about that. You don't know how much card hoarder is making. <laughs> Something good. That's not a bad one. I guess we could possibly go for a free win here. If we hit, like, Karn the Great Creator. Okay, Double Thought Not Seer... Can't double thought not this turn, but very close to it. I guess I'll get Drown in the Lock. Those other cards are textless, essentially. <laughs> so if they hit K Command, they're not textless, but they're still pretty bad. There's a Fiery Slit. I assume they're going to ditch a Stubborn Denial here, more than likely. Yep, that was pretty quick. Dismember, that's no fun. <laughs> so if they drew K Command, we just got to take it with this Thought Knots here, so I'm a fan of that. Take stroke, pop this, play land, and then pass the turn. Maybe we're not supposed to play land because it plays badly into K command, but. Like, they had K command, they needed to use that and, like, have a fetch land or something, and then fatal push my thought knots here. <coughs> and they couldn't draw, they couldn't draw all that because they had double stubborn and all, so. I would have demolished you guys' eardrums if I let that one slip. But, luckily I caught it on the second try. Okay, we're going to be on the draw this time. It's kind of rough, but definitely still a winnable matchup. If not even favored, but it's modern on the draw. Anything can happen. I'm going to keep this hand... No, it's not very discard proof. 
has a lot of very good things going for it. Has a lot of top deck equity. Assume we're losing. Yep, makes sense. Drawing uh, a land is pretty bad. Turn two TKS is good if they don't have ceremonious rejection, which very likely that they have, or disdainful stroke here. They're gonna leave up mana. I'm gonna make them leave up mana here. No reason not to. It feels really bad if they go like Snapcaster Mage Thoughtseize next turn. Besides that, I don't feel too bad about our situation. Okay. Just double Thought Scour, sure. They're down two anglers, so it's unlikely that they have another angler in their hand to really punish. It makes me really think they have, um. Well, okay. Do they really have another angler? Double Street Wraith, wow. Inquisition, okay. That makes sense. They don't do anything here again. I'm definitely still not playing out my thought knots here. There's no reason to. No reason to play into their disdainful stroke. Now they have to think, though. This draw was pretty damn good. Now we gotta know if they are on their hand with ceremonious rejection or D stroke. It's definitely not definitely not D stroke. Ooh, yes, that's super good for me. Let's get tower down and let's pass the turn. It's possibly just wanted to scavenger grounds there, actually. I can see that definitely being correct. And I may just do that next turn over blast zoning. Okay, we didn't get punished there. Actually, let's do this in their upkeep. No reason to do it right now. So we'll look to sacrifice the desert. Now it makes it so if they draw a Gurmag Angler, which is somewhat possible, it's harder for them to cast. I guess let's play out Blast Zone to make it so if they do, I have a Jace Fringe Prodigy, we can take up the Blast Zone to pop it there. That's what we were looking for. It validates their Disdainful Stroke. They still have Dismember for this, which is unfortunate. But we do get to take whatever their important card is off of this. Hopefully they don't get Cake Command here and punish us super hard. They don't. Shadow, Shadow, Thought Seize, Rejection. So I guess we just take Dismember. Already played our land. Hmm. It's not a bad one to draw. Dugan the Ineffable. Plus, pass the turn. Yep, they said GG is GG well played. T Y T Y. <laughs> Feels good to start off with uh, at least 4 0. Let's see if we can make it a 5 0. Five oh more like Joe. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can hit that five oh yeet at the very beginning of the stream. That would be a nice one. Oh, you're not getting me with the Joe Mama. You're not getting me with that one. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
I just saw this red green Eldrazi deck list, and god damn, does this look like a spicy one? I eat, therefore I am. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is actually like the most normal looking modern playoffs that I've seen of like everything. It's kind of crazy that there's like Merfolk, red green Eldrazi, Esper Stoneblade. But you know. Besides that, it's like pretty, pretty like Grixis Death Shadow, Burn Burn, Amulet Titan, One Tron, Blue White Control a couple times, Eldrazi Tron twice, only one four color Wurza. The draw, I think this is a mulligan. Sand looks a lot better. Ditch. We're on seven, so I think Scavenger Ground is more than likely to be worse than Cavernous Souls. May get very punished for that. Oh, looks like we're against Burn. That is unfortunate. On the draw against Burn. Feels bad, man. But we do have Karn the Great Creator. We don't have any Insano things to go get with it, sadly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't idle on me. Idle on... It's actually not the worst for us. Definitely is rough to have a creature of any sort, but you know. It's not that insane. Swiss Spear, okay. I may have to warp and whale the Swiss Spear here rather than going to go get Tron. Which is unfortunate. Hmm. If he does just a one mana burn spell, then I'm gonna crack Extradition Map because the warping wheel will most likely not work. Yeah, they do this. I need a Warping Whale, the Swiss Spear. Taking a million points. We're going down to nine here. But they only have two cards left in hand. They do have a redraw here, but we're going to be able to get Worm Coil Engine down very soon. Hopefully, if we rip off the top, we're in a good spot. Sometimes lucky, sometimes lucky. Hmm. Guess we just get Witch Bane Orb actually, right? Didn't realize we had that in our repertoire. So now we can just, like, next turn go Reality Smash for Witchbane Orb. They just kind of shit out of luck, unless they've got, like, the nuts. Which they... Then you have Boros Charm plus three. There's Skull Crack. Okay. Could have also plus Expedition Map. That was an option. Tech me, okay. What do they have in their hand? Screw the critics, okay. Chipping orb. Plus here. Pass the turn. Actually, we were just supposed to attack with Reality Smasher. Guess it doesn't really matter either way. Oh no, it does matter because they could have double one drop there. We're at a lock now, but we messed up there. We were supposed to attack with Smasher and then they couldn't play anything because of the Eidolon. So yeah, we were locked if we attack Smasher. With, without, they can go... Um, crack this with the land drop that they... So crack that, have the two lands and go Swiss Spear, Swiss Spear, like Golden Guide, Swiss Spear, something like that. Two guides, I guess, yeah. So we messed up there. With this... Hmm. Yeah, there's... Hmm. Just 
There's nothing that could punish me, right, for one mana? Yeah, so let's do this. Thought about getting the lattice, but there's no reason to. He can't punish me at all here. Okay. Whew. We got out of that one by the skin of our teeth. God damn. That power plant off the top, baby. Okay, I definitely don't want this members here. Damn, that was a close one. That was a close one. That was a close one. Anything else we really want here? More than likely, almost always getting Witch Bane Orb, right? Over Worm Quill Engine. So I think we want to bring Worm Quill Engine, put it in our main deck, and take out something like All's Dust. Actually. So All's Dust, like, ever be good on the draw? I don't think so, so I think Worm Quill is better. So I think this is fine. Even though I'm not a big fan of working with it, I can snipe a Swiss Spear and create like a blocker or provide extra mana if need be. That's so. I mean, yeah, we're gonna keep. Ghost turn three, matter is shape or thought knots here, right? <laughs> Hopefully, we're not dead by turn three. That would be unfortunate. It's not a bad draw either. Allows us to thought knots here plus chalice of the void if that's what ends up being good. If we get turn two Smash Smithereens, we are in shit city. Hopefully that does not happen. Looks like that's what's going to happen. Oh, it didn't. Pog Champ. We're doing it. We're not dead yet. Why? Why did he play it like that? That doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you go Lava Spike there? Unless he's playing around Chalice on one? This turn... Hmm, it's very weird. If he had Smash, maybe he would have... Tower. Thank you for the follow, Max Breaker. I appreciate it. Kind of confused here. I think they actually have Smash Smithereens and they're playing around Chalice here. I think they do. I think they have it. No. What else could they have? They could just have a bunch of lands. They mulligan to six. They gotta get rid of a land if they did have that. What's the chance that they have two burn spells? If they do have two burn spells, we're kind of fucked with the Worm Coil Engine, possibly. They don't have two burn spells, they only have one burn spell. We get a Thought Knots here, we go down to six, and then we get a Chalice on one. If they do have two burn spells, we can Thought Not Seer it. Yeah. So I think we're supposed to Thought Not Seer rather than when Quill Engine plays around Smash Smith the Rings really, really well. I want to play around Smash here. I think we're going to be winning on average if we play around Smash. If we get to take Smash and then we get a Chalice too, it's like really good. They do have a two, a two mana burn spell here. Could Ugin Plus play Shaper and Chalice? No, we can... Oh, I guess we could have done that. That is an option. Why did they fetch there? Wow. Yeah, no, playing Ugin and then playing Root Shaper this, but that doesn't play around... Like, Burns... Like, that makes us lose, like, to this hand really bad. The hand that they exactly had, it's really bad against, actually. I didn't think about exactly that hand, but that hand is really bad to Ugin in. 
Thank you, Spider, for the two bits. I think we're still supposed to chalice one here. I'm gonna just pass the turn. They have to decide between Searing Blazing right now and not. So they decided not to. Such a weird game. Such a weird game. Why did he not skull crack there? Such a weird game. Such a weird game. Is that match from French perspective? Gotta be on the cape on this. No thick fella. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, I was. I assumed he's streaming because French like usually is streaming when he plays. Easy five zero guys. Mateus F is a god. Mateus F. Now we're up there. Oh, we're so close to being in the top five, number six right now. Damn, the Mateus F L Drazi Tron. This man up here, his list finally got posted, and I was able to able to snipe. So yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube and you like the video, make sure to like, subscribe. And uh, follow me on Twitter and Twitch to see when I go live and watch the gameplay live. All of those things will be in the description down below. And you'll get to see me play some games, I guess. Yeah, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.